something. Yeah, yeah. What now? I'm waiting. Good afternoon. Mrs. Verendas and I represent the interests of House Telvani here in Skyrim, even despite our house not being as powerful as it were in the past. In general, I have little work, so I spend time in my own research. About the research, I'm working on deciphering the records left by my great-great-grandfather. Most magicians practice proven spells, studying their ancient tomes, or by seeking a teacher. But my ancestor, Niden Milo, crafted his own spells, like an artist who paints his own picture. Niden kept his spells in an encrypted journal. Now, I'm very close to uncover the secrets of some of the most powerful forms of magic. Care to be my assistant? With you, our research will speed up. My great-great-grandfather invented an interesting way to manipulate time, absolutely imperceptible to others. If I can recover the right formula, I will be able to learn this magic and teach you. I have some samples which need testing. Here is the first scroll. Please, try them out when you are able. Hi there. Failure? Well, what did you see? Oh, we are ever so close. Perhaps you saw the past, or perhaps the future. You grasped the thread of time by your palms, and it whisked you off. Here's a new scroll. I'm sure this will be the one. My wife, Tolicia, 
died 15 years ago. Easy enough. The big trunk at the center of our town is a mushroom. We call it Teland. It holds some kind of magical properties. It also filters the air perfectly. The Sendu family are hunters. They gather food from the outside. The Andavels are farmers. They work the Dwemer farm. Combining all that, we manage to live independently from the world above. Me? It's been a long time since. I am a consul. I manage the town's affairs on behalf of House Talvani and represent its interests here in Skyrim. The town was found in the waning years of the Third Era. I was part of an expedition that studied the Dwemer cities of Skyrim. We found the entrance to Bahalzarf out of sheer luck. We wanted to stay a while, but then the Oblivion Crisis broke out. And after that, the Red Year. Returning to Morrowind was no longer an option, so we found our own settlement here. Now if you'll excuse me. Yeah? Farewell. This one needs some. Marissa, would you mind if I leave town for a while in a couple of months? Or do we have important plans scheduled during that time frame? Off to that tea party of yours again. It's not a tea party at all, Marissa. The brightest minds from all over Tamriel gather at Neloth's to discuss the greatest problems of our time. <laughs> I know all about you brightest minds. Of course you may go, but take an escort with you. The roads are dangerous, thanks to Ulfric's fuss. This better be good. Really? Interesting. The effect of the paralysis caused your body to become like stone. The stones become witnesses of entire epochs, countless wars and cataclysms. I believe I have it this time. Try this scroll. All right then. Good afternoon. Iden Milo truly was an astonishing mage. It was with the help of this magic that he, living in Molag Mare, was able to steal ebony from Caldera, right under the miner's noses. We were able to only scratch the surface of the knowledge brought to us by Niden Milo in his diaries. Thank you for your help. Any problems? Now if you'll Speak. excuse me. Great. We're done talking. Marissa, could you please refresh my memory? The delegation from Black Wind will then speak us this week or the next. Oh, left last month. Oh, how could I make such a fluff? So what were we discussing with them? Well, they gave Evos a couple of writs for execution and persuaded us into giving them a discount for slaves. For those Argonians, we had like 15 of them. Oh dear, you've confused everything. The last time we sent a batch of Argonians that big to Redoran, it was the 186th year. This time they bought Khajiits. Khajiit? Ah yes, now it's ringing a bell. For some reason, I've become so oblivious as of late. Much appreciation. <laughs> 